student uh, welcome to my channel learn more maths uh, my name is varakumar uh, today we are going to learn about uh, uh, geometric progression so in the chapter 6th 10th class of 6th chapter uh, already we have completed arithmetic progression and the problems related to the arithmetic progression so x is 6.1 6.2 and 6.3 we have completed so today we are going to learn about the geometric progression so see here what is the geometric progression so what is the definition before going to learn the definition of the geometric progression uh, see here uh, i am writing some list of numbers here so i have written some lists of numbers here so in the first one see here uh, what it is uh, 2 4 8 16 here we have to observe is there any relation between the successive terms of the given a series or list of numbers. So here it is 2, the first number is 2 and the second is 4, third is 8 and the fourth is 16. So if you observe the difference between these two, so here the difference between these two is how much? 2 only. But here the difference between these two is 4 and the difference between these two is 8. So here that common difference is not equal. So we can decide that the given list of numbers are not in AP. So arithmetic progression that already we have learnt and see here now how can we get the second number? How can we get the second number? Here the first number is 2. So by multiplying with 2 to the first number, we are getting the second number. So 2, how can we get 4? So here it is a 2. So this is the first one. So multiplying 2 with a, a 2, we are getting 4. So again, second number, this is second, we are getting multiplying the first number by 2, we can getting the second number. In the same way, the second number is 4, here we are getting multiplying by 2. So in the same way, third number we are getting multiplying by 2. So in the same way, fourth number we are getting multiplying by 2. So see here, the first number is 2, except the first number, the second number we are getting multiplying by 2 with the first number we are getting the second number. In the same way, third, fourth. So here, uh, except the first term or the first number, we are getting second, fourth and uh, second, third and fourth numbers by multiplying a fixed number. That is uh, by multiplying two, we are getting, uh, suppose in the given list of series, uh, can you guess or can you ex expect uh, uh, what is the next term? So what is the next term? So yes, it is very easy by multiplying with 2, we can get the next term. So what it is here, the next term is 16 into 2, uh, that is 32. Here the uh, next term is 32. So here they are following a sequence or they are following a common property. So what it is by multiplying the preceding term, we are getting the succeeding term. So what is the next term after 32? Yes, we can say 32 into 2, we can get 64. So the next term is 64. Like this, we can find any term by multiplying. If we know the preceding term, we can get the succeeding term. So this is first series. So in the second series, this is the second list of numbers he has given here. Again here, 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 and so on so again we have to observe is what is the relation between any two successive terms in the given series so here first two a number is 3 and the second one is minus 3 so just we have to concentrate on the second one how can we get the second one based on the first one so if we multiply the first number with minus 1 we are getting the second one so 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. So next to concentrate on the third term. How can we get it? So if we multiply with a minus 1 second term, we are getting the third term. So in the same way, so here, see here what is the common property here. Uh, 
by multiplying minus 1 we are getting second one again if you multiply by minus 1 we are getting the third so by multiplying minus 1 so can you expect in the series what is the next term so simply we can say by multiplying minus 3 with minus 1 we can get the next term so minus 3 into minus 1 that is 3 so this is the next term in the series so here observe the third one so here the first number is 1 by 4 and the second one is 1 by 16 third one is 1 by 64 fourth one is 1 by 256 and so on so again is there any relation between the successive successive terms we have to observe so first we have to observe first and the second terms so how we are getting the second term we have to observe here it is 1 by 4 here it is 1 by 16 how can we get 1 by 16 from the term 1 by 4 that we have to observe. So here it is 1 by 4 by here it is 1 by 16. So if I multiply 1 by 4 with 1 by 4 again we are getting 1 by 16. So again 1 by 16 here 1 by 64 again by multiplying with 1 by 4 we can get 1 by 64. Here also by multiplying with 1 by 4, we can get 1 by 256. So, can you say what is the next term in the series? Yes, we can say by multiplying uh, uh, 1 by 256 with 1 by 4, we can get uh, 1 by 1024. 1 by 1024. So, this is the next term in the series. So, see here... Uh, uh, first to based upon the series what I have written here now we can define the geometric progression geometric progression is a list of numbers geometric progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by multiplying a fixed number except the first term so see here geometric progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by multiplying a fixed number except the first number or first term. So that is the definition of the geometric progression. So see student I am writing what is the definition here. Geometric progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by multiplying a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. So this is the definition of the geometric progression student. So now we have to write uh, some points related to the geometric progression. In a GP, so see student, if the first term is small a, common ratio is smaller than the general form of a GP is, uh, we can write the first term is small a. So how can we get the second term? By multiplying the second term with a common ratio, we are getting the second term that is a into r and uh, how can we get the third term again by multiplying with common ratio that is fixed number is common ratio so a r into r again we can get a into r to the power 2 again a r in, a, a r square into r we can get a r to the power 3 and so on so this is the general form of a, a geometric progression here a is the first term or is the common ratio that you have to remember student so see here if the first term is denoted by a1 and the second term is denoted by a2 and the third term is denoted by a3 and the fourth term is denoted by a4 dash 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 then we can write how can we write here a1 is equal to a1 is first term that is a only so a2 is second term how can we write a2 a2 how can we get the first term into the common ratio that is a2 is equal to a into r so the third term is denoted by a3 how can we get a third term a2 into r again a2 is a ar so that is a second term into common ratio that is a2 into r so second term value is ar into r we can get a a into r to the power 2 so in the same way a4 how can we get a4 the fourth term a4 is equal to a3 into r so 
so a3 value is a into r to the power 2 into r that is a into r to the power 3 so these are the terms we can write just you have to remember student so see here once again i am writing here a1 is equal to what a so first term a1 is equal to a and the second term a2 is equal to how much a into r the second term the third term a3 is equal to a into r to the power 2 so and the fourth term a4 is equal to a into r to the power 3 so like this we can write any term if you observe a3 here r to the power 2 is there if it is a4 r to the power 3 is there a is common in all the terms so suppose if i want to write a10 how can we write student a10 is equal to how much can you say so in the same way we can write a10 is equal to a into r to the power 9 so if you observe the sequence we can write directly a into r to the power 9 if i want to write a 100 can you say how much it is a into r to the power 99 so uh, in the same way we can write uh, suppose i want to write uh, some number n so a n is equal to how can we write uh, so a into r to the power we have to reduce 1 n minus 1 suppose here if it is 100 we have to write 19 n if it is 10 here it is 9 so in the same way if it is n we have to write n minus 1 so this is called a n is equal to a into r to the power n minus 1 so this is known as the nth term nth term of a gp or it is also known as the general term the general term of a gp it is nth term or the general term of a geometric progression what it is student just you have to remember a n is equal to a into r to the power n minus 1 so a is the first term r is the common ratio n is the number of terms suppose the number of the term particular term suppose if n is equal to 10 we can write a 10 equal to a into r to the power 10 minus 1 that is r to the power 9 here uh, these points we have to remember uh, the general form of a geometric progression is a comma a into r a into r to the power 2 a into r to the power 3 and so on here the condition you have to remember student each term is a non-zero so each term of the geometric progression should be non-zero terms and r, r is not equal to 1 so these two conditions you have to remember so first to suppose if he gives a list of numbers and he is asking to say whether the given list of numbers uh, uh, form an uh, form an uh, form a geometric progression or not he is asking so how can we decide first uh, we have to check whether uh, each term is a non zero or not so here the condition is each term should be non zero and uh, r is not equal to 1 r is uh, not equal to 1 that is the condition so here uh, a is the first term or is the common ratio so next uh, if the first term is a1 the second term is a2 and so on the nth term is a n here uh, then the geometric progression becomes a1 comma a2 a3 a4 and so on a n and so on so here the common ratio how can we find the common ratio r is equal to a2 divided by a1 is equal to a3 divided by a2 is equal to a4 divided by a3 is equal to dash dash a n divided by a n minus 1 so like this we can find the common ratio is common ratio is the ratio of uh, any two successive terms of the given uh, series so uh, that is the common ratio so see student this is the introduction to the geometric progression so next in the next class uh, we have to solve some problems related to the geometric progression so so that's all today's class student will meet in the next class uh, uh, with some problems